In this video, we provide the solution to question number 10 for the practice final exam for Math 1210. We're asked to compute the limit as theta approaches zero of sine theta over five theta squared minus four theta. My first inclination is because the function is continuous, so long as we're inside the domain of the function, we're gonna be good. That is, we can just plug in zero and see what happens. Five times zero squared minus four times zero on the bottom. That's gonna give us zero in the denominator, so we are outside the we are outside the domain of this function. But since sine of zero is likewise zero, we get zero over zero, this is an indeterminate form. It turns out this exact question we re we've already done as a practice question on exam number three. Uh, because we are able to use limits of trigonometric functions to evaluate this. But now that we know L'Hopital's rule, we could use L'Hopital's rule to compute this thing, uh, which might be an, a more favorable way of computing this one. By L'Hopital's rule, we should take the derivative of the top, which will be cosine of theta. We should take the derivative of the bottom, which will be 10 theta minus 4. Still take the limit as theta approaches 0, which now if we plug in theta equals 0, we're going to get cosine of 0, which is a 1 actually. And then in the denominator, we're going to get 10 times 0 minus 4. So the denominator becomes negative 4. And so we see the correct answer would be choice E.